Donghei Pachoy! Yes, it's almost Chinese New Year. Ilang araw na lang ba? Kasi ang Chinese New Year will be on February 12. So, sasalubungin natin siya ng February 11. So, I will be showing you kung ano yung mga usual na ginagawa ko bago mag Chinese New Year. So, I will bring you for the first time. Hindi ko masyado sure share to, but I am proud of my Chinese roots. First, ang ginagawa ko is to visit a feng shui expert, which I always do yearly. And this time, I will visit Johnson of Sunrise Feng Shui dahil ilang years na rin namin siyang feng shui master. And meron pa kaming pinupuntahang three more, but via Zoom lang sila, so takot silang mag face to face. Ay, bago yan, ano yung mga dapat at hindi dapat gawin this year, this year of the metal ox. Yes, metal ox siya. Kasi merong five um, elements ang isang Chinese zodiac. Metal, wood, fire, water, earth. Five! Depends on kung magka-clash ba kayo ng year na to or hindi. So, let us know and let's go sa Feng Shui Master and ask kung ano yung mga pampaswerte tips this coming year of the metal ox 2021. So, let's go! Hello! Lagi dito kay Master Johnson. Hello! Hi! <laughs> So now it's time to ask this year, 2031. Hanap tayo ng horse. Hanap tayo ng horse because I'm year of the horse. And then si Kami is year of the rooster, the feng shui guide. Ano kami ng prosperity basket. We always have this kapag bagong taon. Di ba, Chi? Prosperity basket is a must. Kasi, bali dito ka magtatanim ng bu buong luck mo for the entire year. Tapos, pagkatapos mo na mag-alay, kakainin mo yung bigas. For more luck and success and good health. We're now here, syempre naka-mask kami. And of course, meron ditong for safety reasons. So, we're gonna ask kung ano yung mga... Hindi maganda dahil hindi maganda ang Year of the Horse last year. Diba, Master Johnson? Yes, so, uh, dapat na medyo, uh, last year, partly kasi because it's a Year of the Rat, ang uh, alam natin, Rat and Horse magkalatan. Okay, but uh, good news, 2021, it will be much more better para sa mga Year of the Horse. <laughs> Ay, salamat. Much better for the Year of the Horse. Sabi talaga ang 2020 sa mga horse. Inuna nila yung mga kabayo sa taal, diba? <laughs> Yeah. Ano yung mga maswerteng year this year? Year of the rooster, number one! Rooster! Number one! <laughs> number one. Yes. So, yeah. Also, yan, para sa also mga people who na pinanganak ng year of the monkey, at year, year of the tiger. Um, rooster, monkey, and tiger. Sila yung sobra. Sila yung top three. And then uh, next is the horse. Yay! Kasali ako <laughs> sa top five! Ano yung isang mangla? And then dog! Ah, so rooster, monkey, tiger, horse, and dog. Ano yung mga unlucky? Yeah, um, so far naman, para sa ating style, um, kasi we don't use the word bad luck or unlucky. Yes, okay? yes, uh oo. -oh. Uh, mas more sasabihin lang natin na this year, mga partly challenging. Okay, so mga taong pinanganak ng year of the sheep, okay, sheep. or goat. Yan, kasi or sila yung number one kalaban ng ox. And then also sa mga year of the dragon and year of the snake. Dragon and snake. Oh my gosh, see! This will be a challenging year for you. Kaya mo yan. Since lalo na for the dragon and snake, partly yung health, yan na dapat labantian. So dapat yung stress energy, okay, mas lalo na sa trabaho or sa negosyo. And also, syempre, in terms of money luck din, we need to be more careful. And also, another thing pa na, I'm um, trying not to do yung too much of like mga uh, risky adventures like that, kasi medyo prone to accidents. Kasi favorite ko pa naman yung ano, yung extreme adventure. Ayan, okay. Pero sa akin, okay. Sige, okay lang. Advice ko lang para sa 2021, it is a healing year, it's a comeback year. Okay, pero huwag na tayo masyado pa rin maging aggressive. Okay, huwag tayo masyado maging aggressive. Dapat conservative play tayo, tsaka matuto na tayo mag-budget. Ano na lang ang lucky color for this year? The best lucky color for the year 2021, we have the three lucky color. Nung narinig natin, it's the yellow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, 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 number one. Okay, then we also have red and green. 
yellow, red, and green. Ah, Pasko na! Sabi nila, it's a stoplight color. Oo nga, traffic light pala. Stop, ano, ready, go. Ganun. Ito mo nga ba, to use these three colors, okay, kapag more of money and prosperity ang habol natin, we can use yellow color. Because yellow is the color of stability. So that means, mas pwede lumaki yung assets mo, yung investments mo. Ang habol mo naman is about network, connections, learn more new things, mga ganun class yun. Mas lalo na last year, urging marami mga nag-survey because they had network and connections. So the best color is red color. Yes, at alam natin lahat because everyone now is going to digital technology, marketing, and social media. Ah, talaga? Red? Red kasi is the color of fire, color of technologies. Kaya diba lahat ngayon sinasabi niya, Um, kung ang negosyo mo, wala pa rin po sa internet, wala pa sa like Facebook o Instagram, then kulin huli na yung negosyo mo. <laughs> Mas right, diba ngayon yung mga single? Kasi ang dami kong friends na single eh, tinitext na nga sila kami kung ano daw, mga orasyon nila, mga single people. <laughs> okay. Um, one good thing is that because of the year of the ox, na, itong metal ox, na to, meron one good star, which is the Roman star. Okay, so that means this year, uh, good opportunity for those singles, okay, na nagahanap ng partner, nagahanap na gusto natin ma activate your love. Okay, this year is a good year. So, para sa mga couple na gusto mga years. This year is also a good year para for fertility. Okay, step by step, para love, then fertility. Wag po babalik ko yun. Our official website is FS Coach Johnson Shua. Lalagay ko yun dito so that you can follow Johnson. Bye guys! Uwi na tayo ng bahay. Bye bye! Thank you! Bye! We had a good trip here in Binondo and then nalaman na namin ng mga bawal at hindi bawal. So let's go home and fix the house and ayusin na natin yung mga directions. That's it. The next day. Hello, everybody. It is nine in the morning, and sabi sa almanak calendar. Yes, this is the Chinese calendar. Kung saan may kita mo yung mga good days and not so good days. So today is February three, and it is new spring. So it is. A good day today. Wala namang bad. Bad lang yung travel. Sabi dito sa calendar. Meron to sa mga feng shui stores. Nagsasabi ng good days and bad days. It's time to recharge lahat na mga feng shui ano namin na mga horses. Kasi last year, bad yung horse. Like, super, super bad year. So, hindi tayo sinuerte last year. But at the same time, syempre, um, Hindi pa rin natin ilulose yung hope that there is always light at the end of the tunnel. This year, okay na yung horse. Ilalabas ko na ang mga horse ko. Katago yan siya last year. So now, it's time to reveal their faces. Charge na kayo ha, okay? Yes, ito yung pang recharge namin. Ito yung sandalwood incense. In order to charge, iikot natin to ng counterclockwise. But first, Say your intentions, your kung ano yung gusto mo. Pray from the heart and everything. So let's start. Anong prayer mo? Secret, baka hindi matipan. Yung sandalwood, you can also use this pag bumili kayo ng mga second-hand na mga gamit like bags or sofa, kahit ano na mga second-hand para mag-recharge and revert. Yeah, to get rid of the bad vibes energy. Mga bad vibes na nanonood dyan, ayan, incense, incense for you to get rid of your negativity. Since tapos na tayo, the last thing na kailangan natin gawin since activated na lahat ng mga feng shui enhancers natin, all we need to do is to say thank you to our source of power and grace. So, let's bow and let's Ang mga mga tumatang, kailaw lahat. 
because these are all activated crochet enhancers. Mas mausok na siya. The Metal Ox, which is the 2021. Dahil sabi nga sa Feng Shui Master, that is Chua, that 2021 daw is the year of healing and comeback year. So healing siya, sana mag-heal na tayong lahat, mag-heal na ang buong mundo, mawala na sana ang coronavirus, and come back, kumang back na yung mga normal natin na ginagawa, hugs, beso-beso, and kisses, hang out with friends na walang face shield and face mask pero and meron pang alcohol so ito yung mga kailangan natin sa mga bag natin ito yung mga lagi kong ginagawa ang um, first na dapat ihanda is number one, ikoy of course, for harmony and balance or anything na malagkit na pagkain tao, buchi um, kahit ano, basta nagsistick siya para stick together, magkaroon ng harmony, magkaroon ng balance, and dumikit yung mga swerte in life. And kakainin mo yung tikoy pag sumapit na yung 12 midnight or 12 onwards. Basta on that day of February 12, kumain ka ng tikoy. And next is, naihanda is pansit, of course, for long life. Lagi yan, kahit naman pag birthday, nagpapansit talaga tayo to have a long, long life. Pero kailangan mayroon talagang pansit sa hapag. And dapat mayroon ding steam fish. Fish, dapat yun yung nasa gitna ng table. Kasi ang um, fish represents abundance and pas pasok daw ng mga swerte. Hindi ko alam, basta natutunan ko lang yan sa lola ko. The next is mga bilog na fruits. Kahit ano, most especially kyat-kyat, mga pongkan. Kasi sa Chinese, parang ang pongkan is parang gold. Chinese New Year, pinapagulong pa namin yung pongkan sa main door, papasok ng bahay para pumasok daw yung money. Shrimp! Dapat meron din shrimp kasi it represents abundance also kasi tumatalon-talon din daw yung shrimp. Bok choy, mga greens, dapat meron din greens sa hapag ninyo, and then meron mga shomai, shomai, mga bilog-bilog, anything na mga bilog-bilog, this is the day na ilabas nyo na yung mga bilog ninyo. Maswerte ding mag-wear ng red underwear para sa mga single dyan na gusto magka-love life. Ito, proven and tested talaga to dahil ginawa ko to, and then shinare ko to sa mga friends ko, and nagkaroon sila ng love life. Red, wear red underwear, sa bagong taon. Yes. Kailangan brand new red underwear. Dapat bago siya. Para brand new you, brand new feeling. Dapat bago. Bago underwear. Weird ba mag-share dito ng underwear? Pero... <laughs> Weird mag-share ng underwear, pero I just wanna make all the single subscribers out there na magka-jowa na sila, of course. Para matulungan sila ng Red underwear. Okay, and then next is wag linisin yung bahay in the first three days. So 12, 13, 14. So 15 ka pa maglilinis. Kasi sabi nila, alis daw yung swerte. Hindi ko alam. Sabi lang ng lola ko, pero yun yung ginagawa namin for so many years. So wag maglilinis na bahay. Kahit sobrang dumi na siya, okay lang yun. Ang wealth sector natin is, for this year, is sa West. So, lagyan nyo ng mga maingay. Meron namang compass sa cellphone. So, check nyo. Punta kayo sa gitna ng bahay and then check nyo kung saan yung west. Lagyan nyo ng masayang area doon like flowers or like TV, like radio, speaker para lang mabuhay siya. And the not sweaty section is the southeast and the north and the northwest. So, yun lang! Sana nag-enjoy kayo sa video na to as we prepare for the Chinese New Year celebration. And don't forget, magkaroon din ng wishing paper for the Chinese New Year. And dahil eto na nga, isi-share ko na rin sa inyo kung paano namin celebrate ang Chinese New Year on the day itself. Meron akong um, part 2 Chinese New Year vlog. 
on the Chinese New Year itself, so February 12, that is a Friday. Ipapakita ko doon yung Chinese New Year celebration namin. And, iisa-isahin ko yung 12 Chinese zodiac signs ko ano yung mga lucky color and kung ano yung mga, mga do's and don'ts. And watch out for my part 2 vlog next week, that is February 12, 8 p.m. here on my channel, Kim Chippy H. But for now, eto muna tayo, preparation for the coming Chinese New Year, the year of the metal ox. So, sana marami kayo natutunan dito sa video na to. And then, hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to comment below and hit like, share, and subscribe. And feel free to click the notification button para updated kayo sa mga latest videos ko. So, pang hey pa Yay! Let's enjoy and have fun and Ganito ko celebrate ang Chinese New Year ko and I just want to share it with you guys. Wala naman siguro masama kung maniniwala tayo or hindi but this is what I am doing for so many years na and minana ko pa to sa mga sa lola ko. Um, I know um, wala na yung lola ko but I know na happy siya na pinutuloy ko pa rin to mga feng shui feng shui thingy ko or Chinese New Year celebration and of course I am proud of my roots this is Kim Chu saying thank you so much everybody and happy new year happy Chinese New Year let's all be happy and look forward to a brand new year this coming 2021 bye <laughs>